What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your number one source for handheld gaming. Today we are going to take a look at GeForce Now running on the Steam Deck OLED. I have been testing this as an alternative to running Windows on the Steam Deck. As many of you may be aware, we still have not received all of the required drivers to run Windows on the deck OLED, which means if you want to play games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the deck in Windows, you kind of got to wait. This is what led me to take a look at GeForce Now, and for some, this might actually be better than running Windows on the Steam Deck. Now with everything, there are some pros and some cons, which we will go over. Afterwards, we're going to show you how to set up GeForce Now on the Steam Deck. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and the Lenovo Legion Go. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. All right, so let's start with the pros. First off, the performance is amazing. Right now, I am playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on ultra settings, streaming in 1080p, and I am getting a locked 60 frames per second which looks and runs a lot better than playing the game natively on the device. Next is the battery life. With the deck only consuming around six to seven watts and with a 50 watt hour battery, you can expect to get anywhere between seven and eight hours of battery life on a full charge. Some of you have asked me how to play certain games on the Steam Deck without having to go through the trouble of setting up a dual boot or install Windows. Well, this is probably the next best thing to a dual boot in my opinion. You'll be able to play just about any game in your Steam library in SteamOS as long as it's available on GeForce Now. Not only that, but you can also connect this to your Epic Games account, your Xbox Game Pass account, and play your games from those libraries as well. Quick disclaimer, when it comes to Steam and Epic Games, you still need to own those games in order to play them. This isn't a subscription service like Xbox Game Pass. You do actually have to purchase those games. All right, now let's talk about some of the cons. This is essentially a streaming service that allows you to play games you already own on a gaming rig supplied by GeForce Now and then stream to your handheld device. So this will require at least a decent Wi-Fi or internet connection. Having said that, it makes perfect sense to use this for online games where you would already be required to have a decent internet connection. And lastly, this is a paid service with several tiers, including a free tier. The top tier is the Ultimate Founders Edition, which would give you a gaming rig with an RTX 4080 and an eight hour gaming session for $89.99 for six months, which averages out to around $15 a month, similar to a Game Pass Ultimate subscription. It used to offer a month to month subscription for $17.99 a month, but because of an increase in demand, they're no longer offering the month to month subscription for the Ultimate Founders Edition. And down below, you can see the subscription that I have, which is the regular Founders Edition. This subscription gives me a gaming rig with an RTX 2080 Super and a six hour gaming session for $4.99 a month, which I think is good enough for the Steam Deck. Not sure if this is still being offered. I actually signed up for this probably over a year ago, so I'm not sure if they still offer this. And next to it, you can see the free tier, which gives you a basic rig and a one hour gaming session. All right, so now that all of that's out of the way, let's go ahead and go over how to set up GeForce Now on the Steam Deck. All right, so step one, the first thing we're gonna do is download Google Chrome. Just go into your start menu, enter Google Chrome into the search, and then select Get Google Chrome. If you already have Google Chrome, then you can skip this step. Once it pops up, we'll just click on the Install button and allow it to install. And then once we have Google Chrome installed, we're gonna go back to the application launcher again. And this time we're gonna type in console with a K to bring up our command line program. And we're just gonna type in the following here. We will have this in the description so that you can just copy and paste it into the command line as well. And then once we have this either typed or, or copied and pasted into the command line, we'll just hit enter. Remember that Linux is case sensitive, so you'll want to type it exactly the way you see it here. If you type it wrong, you will get an error. So if you do get an error, just retype it the exact same way you see it here, or just copy it and paste it into the command line. All right, and once we're done here, we can go ahead and close console. And next we're gonna go into Steam. And we're gonna add Google Chrome to Steam as a non-Steam game. We're just gonna go down to where it says add game. 
and then select add a non steam game then we'll find google chrome in the list and then suppress uh, add selected program and now we have google chrome added as a non steam game from here we want to go into the properties and we want to copy and paste something into the launch options here and what this is going to do is going to allow the program to act like an app on the uh, steam deck and we want to be careful that when we copy and paste it we want to paste it right before the quotation in between the quotations here and we want to leave a space after the code that we paste and i'm going to show you what happens if you don't leave that space there it's not going to launch correctly take a look so as you can see it's not launching it says site cannot be reached so if you get this error then you didn't leave a space so here we're gonna go ahead and fix this by just adding a space in between and now we should not have any problem launching into geforce now and just so you have a clear understanding of what exactly we're doing here this is going to make it behave like an application rather than like a website so when you open it it's going to go straight to geforce now and it's going to have a uh, full screen and you're going to have um, mouse controls and things like that uh, going into it just hold down the steam button on the left side and then you can move the mouse around to navigate the uh, the screen so that's what we're doing here and we're just going to scroll through it one more time so that you guys can get a good look at how this is supposed to look uh once it's all set up here so we're just going to scroll from left to right and then you guys can see all of the text that's in the uh, launch options and so this is exactly how it should look when you have copied and pasted this command into the launch option all right so one last thing i want to do if you guys have not noticed i actually renamed this uh from google chrome to geforce now to make it you know look a little bit more official so we're going to go ahead and just change this to geforce now and then we're also going to add some channel or some um some art so that um when we see it in the gaming mode it looks like an official application so we just go to google and just download something that looks nice and then upload it into steam and apply it to our geforce now non-steam game here and boom there you go just like that so now we're gonna head back into gaming mode here and uh, we'll test everything out make sure everything is working properly all right so here we are back in gaming mode and we can click on that there and click on play and as you can see it opens up like an application so this is what that code did in the launch option and as you can see it shows here that i have three of four accounts connected that would be my steam account my epic games account and my xbox game pass account so i can play games via geforce now you from the libraries of the from any of those libraries which i think is really awesome so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe and let us know what you think. If you guys are going to try this for yourselves, I definitely recommend it. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.